hey what's up guys npc here and welcome back a new tutorial so in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to create audio reactor without any third party plugin inside after effects so basically i posted a video if you did not see it please watch this and now i am going to make a tutorial for this one because so many people tell me to make a tutorial and they want to know they also want to create how i created so i will make a tutorial and this is so simple basically this is so simple so without any plugin we will get going to create with easy steps all right so if you want to use plugins definitely you can do and it's enhance a little bit more but in this one i am not going to use a single plugin so let's get started so create a new project let's leave this project here and make sure is 16 or 32 because i am also going to work on some glow and color part so it will be good and create a new composition and do 20 by 10 it and this frame rate according to your music so let All right, so I will put a link to download for this music if you want. Otherwise, you can use your own music which you want to make a audio director for that music. So, in this one, I am going to use. I will put a link in description. So, for frame rate, make sure just import this clip in a new comp and go to the composition setting. And here you can see twenty nine point nine seven. So make sure when you are make a video composition, just like. Uh, Let me create one second. So this is our audio reactor, and the frame rate according to our music. Music, alright. So duration you can choose. Okay, so let's leave it here. Import our music here. Set of this video and just right click and go to the layer style. Ah, uh, sorry, go to the. keyframe assistance and convert audio to keyframe all right so it will analyze few second maybe 1 to 5 second and if i press u and select this layer and press u so you can see here it's create some keyframes for left channel right channel and both channel right so our music stuff here so i'm going to press n and just trim come to work area right so let's press u once again so all done now let's create a waves so make this comp size layer and this will be our waves right and select this solid layer and press control s space to open fx console it's a utility plugin from video cobalt it's 100% free you can download it also from video cobalt.net all right so stop this promotion and let's i'm just kidding so let's search it here to radio waves right so you can see it's create some rings and it's all animated all right so you can see audio waves are moving slightly you can see so now we are going to move these rings according to our music so here is a render quality you can increase it make sure uh, check the full here you can see let me show you if i change the color to white so you can see some this jaggy line problem So if I will increase it to 16, it will be fixed a little bit better. So now here is a option wave type polygon image. Here is a option called mask. So if you want to create your own shape, just create a mask and here just select this that mask. But this one I am just going to scroll down this polygon and here I will just make it four. like this one and it looks also cool and if you want to bend these lines this corner so you can make it like this if you want right so i am not going to do that 
so let's put down zero right so let's switch to the half let's switch to the quarter so you can just move faster a little bit all right so control s to save and never forget to save your project so just save So now here is a frequency right so we'll just key this frequency with audio so put down zero and just select this audio layer I mean that audio keyframe layer and I press U and just select this wave layer and just press alt and click on the frequency layer and select I mean parent with just both both slider both channel slider value and now let's see the magic you can see it looks very very cool and it's moving with keyframes right but when it will be uh, just go over and over so you can see there are heavy lines right so if i switch to half a lesson you can see there are heavy lines and it looks like solid so what we will do just like the waves and here is a live spin so this one i'm going to change one second so not one maybe four second or maybe seven second uh, 7 seconds looks good so our line will be almost 7 seconds after it will be this appear right so in the end you can see this will going to black so the here is the option called fade in time and fade out time so fade in time basically if I increase this will be fade this area and fade out time basically fade out this area so fade in maybe 12 percent maybe right here and fade out it almost good and make it maybe eight percent so looks good press ctrl s and save this so this is moving with our audio right and never forget this and this variation different different variation looks very very good for me and also i think you will like it right so now here is a, a more option so the start with five and end with one so basically start when this polygon start the size is 5 so if you want to increase you can also increase it and the end when this will be going in this will if you want to make it more smaller or more bigger like this so result you can see very very heavy so I'm not going to do that so maybe 2 when this will be this appear and start maybe 2 or just maybe five seven and maybe three all right looks cool save this one and all done so all right so tutorial finished so basically this Alright, so if the next step is what we'll do, save this project here. And if you want to spin this, you can definitely make a spin like this one. And here is a velocity option, you can also 
and here is a uh, one more option called this expansion basically it will be go behind and go upwards so make it here and just cover the whole area so if you want to make with a spin you can definitely make with a spin if you don't so make the spin zero so it will be look like this one so i like it and this is png alpha so now if you want to change the color so make it red make it this color make it blue make it green so let's leave it here for now and the second thing is let's duplicate this area i mean let's duplicate this audio rector layer and just reveal this frequency so effect radio waves and wave motion and frequency so in this one i'm not want too much in this one i don't want too much polygons i just create some single single polygon uh, and uh, which will be uh, glowing so let's divide by 24 that's 24 so now you can see there are some normal normal one one you can see and you can increase the size like this if you want right and if you don't want you can definitely not do if you don't want so you can see it's create a variation and this will be animated right so the one part is almost completed let add a glow so this will look like glow right so increase this ctrl d one more time and let's increase more right let's hide this and this is first one so now this looks flat right it looks like a little bit ambient occlusion like i think so and but if you want to create some shadows so go to the select this layer web layer and this will be our base right so select this layer and go to the layer style and here is the option called inner shadow so this will create on every single particle i think so let me show you so if i delete this and control z wapper so you can see you can see looks cool right so this great and if you want to play with some settings like color let's change the color I'm not change right you can see looks good if you want but leave it black and if you want to increase the size you can do it but five is looks good and our first is glow right so see how it's look looking mind blowing i think so so the first one is completed i think right the first one is completed this will be move on beat and one more thing uh, uh, adding your own logo here so let's create a let's import your logo and create a new composition 1080 by 1080 make a square comp right import your logo just create a ship like this right so now I'm going to rotate this like this 45 degree and I'm going to just scale down both layers so make sure the area is not cutting right so he come down here and import your logo just below this layer let's see and just scale down almost here 
right looks good maybe so if you want you can also leave this it here right looks good now and you can change the color so all right so here we are in our comp main comp so if you want to make a boom 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 this one so what you do just reveal this audio keyframe so press u and select our logo and just click alt and click on scale and just parent with this both right so now it will be move with our id right you can see control s so the first one is completed so you can render this one and use and you can also color collection according to your choice so you basically collection with your own choice if you want otherwise it should look good so one more thing if you want um, if you want some thing like the background i mean this base one is like some blurry and our first this one is only glowing so you can save one copy here so let me show you so let's duplicate the audio director layer and open this one and now let's hide this first one and this one is second one so if you want to make it a little bit blurry so go to this stroke and here right you can see so let's choose to bell and go to the audio webs i mean this glow glow and enable this one and just go to the stroke and here change to the size 1 and 1 or make it 4 just add 9 little bit more something like this one and fade out time will also increase this is it so looks good i think right it's a little bit different from first one you can see first one and the second one and you can also add some another glow this is your glow and this glow hide this one first and go to the this part and change the color maybe something like red right or yellow so let's choose maybe this color and go to the beige and we'll also choose the same color but a little bit You can also get some matching colors but pink is looks good All right and definitely we can change this color so So now it look also good so depend on your choice what you like right and if you want to make it spin you can definitely make a spin so go to the base and just add a spin maybe 12 percent so go to the glow layer and also make it spin 12 percent so then it will fit perfectly and you can also rotate this like this so now it will fit perfectly right so this look also good but the first one look more good so I'm going to 
just undo that right so all right i think the tutorial is finished and everything i think i covered if you have any more questions so put down in a comment box or just leave me a message i will definitely reply back you and if i can if i could i definitely help you so thanks for watching my video and thanks for loving me and now i'm going to render this one and I, one more thing i forget so this is a layer called this i call this glow right this is extra glow boom 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 right so what we'll do we'll just turn down and turn up turn down and turn up and one more thing control s so if this is the glow layer so if you don't want to animate this all time so what you will do press t right and go to the audio layer and press u and now let's just add a alt and click on the opacity layer of glow and just parent this with this audio layer keyframe so now glow and if it's too low so you can just multiply with maybe six right you can see so let's see to the quarter and let's see the preview so i'm going to make a preview after i will just put in back so let's switch to the half resolution and just and you can also add a motion blur on this logo layer right so because your our logo is also moving so let's see a small preview with the same resolution let's take a look Alright, so you can see this looks so cool. Alright, and don't forget here is one more. Uh, it's a little bit different from first one, second one, I think. So, that uh, looks cool. Alright, so now let's stop this tutorial here. And if you have any problem, please comment. I will definitely solve your problem. And thanks for watching my video. Thanks for loving me. Thanks for supporting me also and just keep working keep doing keep smiling keep working and i'm in city and we will see you next time with a great tutorial so subscribe this channel if you learn something from this tutorial so 